Um, Sean, what does this mean to you getting this opportunity, especially after you've, all you've gone through in the last year with the shoulder surgery and the uncertainties that go along with that? Uh, means, uh, man, means a lot. Um, you know, I put a lot of, a lot of work and, uh, you know, getting here was, uh, was, was crazy hard, but you know, we're here and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad that, uh, the team has faith in me and, um, you know, I'm just thankful for the opportunity. So I'm looking forward to it and, um, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Sean, you didn't face the Rays this year. So, um, is that, you look at that as kind of a, maybe a good thing or bad? How do you, how do you kind of look at that? Just seeing them for the first time this year? Um, just going to like any other start. Um, uh, not making it any bigger and, uh, I'm just gonna continue what I've been doing and, um, you know, just uh, focus on my strengths and, and just uh, pitch off that. Sean, what do you think your emotions are going to be like when you get on the on the mound tomorrow? 50,000 fans here. Just what, what do you think is going to be going through your head? Um, a lot of a lot of nervousness, a lot of excitement. Um, you know, definitely going to take the opportunity to soak it all in for, you know, a couple seconds and then, uh, you know, focus on, uh, on, on throwing. So I, I don't really know what's going to go, going to happen, but... Um, I just know it's going to be going to be crazy. Sean, I, I know you you wanted to come back maybe sooner than you did, and, and had a little setback along, along the way. But mm -hmm. how much did do you now appreciate the patience you showed, and the training staff showed, and the A's showed? Just to you know, now you're in this moment and healthy and pitching really well. Yeah, I think those uh, you know those moments are looking back, they're uh, you know blessings, and um, you know at the time it was frustrating, but. Now that, you know, now I'm looking back and uh, I think each time I had a little setback, it was like, a, you know, I was able to like work on something or I was able to, uh, you know, I was taking those opportunities to turn them into something positive and, and not just be super upset that I wasn't back here sooner or anything like that. So each time I had a setback, it was like, you know what, maybe I have something to work on. Maybe I can work on this in the minor leagues and that I can't do up here. So uh, that's why I was taking everything and, and uh, you know, Crazy how things work out, but uh, you know, I wouldn't, wouldn't have it any other way. Sean, I, I know some of your first few rehab outings probably weren't exactly what you wanted, and <laughs> there was there was some thought that they that the A's might have trouble getting you back in the rotation somehow. Were, have you surprised yourself with what you were able to do in the last month? Uh, I mean, this is kind of all I all I think about. You know, just picture myself in a, on a stage like this and, and, uh, you know, having fun and, and, and doing well. And, uh, that's really what, like spending time, a lot of time alone and, and, uh, you know, just thinking about, um, you know, my career and all this is, uh, this is, you know, one of those, those opportunities I think about a lot. So, um, yeah, those, that first, uh, <laughs> those first couple outings in, uh, in the minors was uh, a little rough and, but, you know, Stuff happens, and uh, you just gotta gotta get over it. Hey, Sean, your uh, your command's been great uh, at the big league since you came back. Is that more of a refining your approach while you were down in the minors and, and working on stuff, or is it more just feeling good and being able to do what you want with the ball? Yeah, I think it's just more feeling good and um, you know taking that time to you know visualize stuff and you know just having confidence in myself that those pitches that I have or anything that I have is is what I got. So um, I just got to use it and you know attack with it. Um, you know, I'm not, not a guy that blows, you know, 97 or anything like that. So I got, you know, 88 to 90 or whatever. And, and, uh, you know, I just got to attack with that. And, um, I think that's the difference between this year and past years is, um, I'm just, uh, you know, using what I got and not trying to make anything more, more of it. Sean, Bob Melvin said one of the reasons that he chose you for this start is because you're so unflappable. And, but I'm wondering with all that's, riding on this game and with the fact that in one game playoffs starting pitchers tend to get short hooks if things aren't going well are, are you feeling any pressure going into tomorrow and how do you handle that if you do uh yeah i mean obviously there's a lot of pressure and um you know you can't shy away from that um i mean this game means means everything um and i think it's it's comforting to know that there's guys behind me that you know are able to to come in if um, you know, something bad happens, but, um, you know, you got to take that pressure and it's, it's always going to be there. And I think if you, uh, you just let it, you know, grow into something more then that's when you, uh, you know, things start to turn bad. But, um, so I know it's, a, I know it's going to be there and I just got to, you know, let it be and, 
and uh, just do what, what I can do to help this team. And if I can't do it, somebody else will do it. And, uh, you know, it's just the way this, this team works. Sean, can you uh, go back a little bit to the growing up days? Because you had told me years ago, skateboarding kid, Samoan background, not mm-hmm. a lot of baseball in your family. You showed up at your first try on a pair of jeans. Yeah. To kind of get to this point, I mean, can you kind of take me a little bit through that journey? Uh, I mean, what, what do you what do you want to know? <laughs> um, it's, a, it's a great story. Branded jeans, uh, some from Walmart. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's what we wore in uh, in Wanata. You know, the little league that I went to that w- that was all pretty much any anybody wore when I first went to Hammond. The fall fall league, I didn't really know what baseball pants were, so I uh, showed up my first day there in uh, in jeans, and everybody else was wearing pants. And uh, then the next week, I showed up in white sleeves, uh, and my coach was like, "Hey, man, you can't you can't pitch with white sleeves on." And we, me and my parents were like, "What?" And, you know, we didn't understand. So there's been a lot of growing up, and um, yeah, it's crazy how far like you know little town to to right now. It's man, it's awesome. Um, you know, I couldn't. Uh, Kind of made it here with all the people that have helped me help me along the way, and and uh, you know I'm eternally grateful for them. And uh, yeah, just looking back on things, it's crazy how far I've come from from Wanata, uh to here now. So yeah, it's exciting. Got my parents coming. Man, it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. Looking at the tracker of your pitches since you've come back, it's indicated that the changeups have gone down, but the fastballs and the sliders have gone up a little bit. Is that because you felt more confident with with those other two pitches here since you've come back? Yeah, um, not necessarily the fastball. I think that's always just been you know what it is. But my slider, uh, that's something I really wanted to do while I had time down in minor leagues is uh, just you know refine that and get it to something where I could feel you know really comfortable with it and. Uh, you know, I finally just messing around, finally found like a grip that works and, and uh, just have confidence in it. And I don't have to like worry about it, like, you know, moving my wrist and manipulating it anyway. I just throw it and uh, just let it do its thing. So I think that's uh, that just adds to the confidence and, and uh, you know, let me throw it more. Uh, any plans for the do? Are you going to keep it in the fro or are you going to go to the rows? Uh, no, the fro is uh, it's too much. My pad goes up. <laughs> Uh, during the, when it dries out, so uh, I'm gonna get, gonna have to get it braided. I'm gonna get it braided after <laughs> after I leave here. So, yeah. hey Sean, uh, what are some of the other big games that you can think of off the top of your head that you pitched in? Um, I was thinking about it. Like when I was really young, I pitched in a uh, like a it was like the double ABC World Series game uh, when I was like four, like 15 or something like that, and I did really really bad um I think I went you know like two-thirds of an inning and you know that at that point in uh my life that was that was uh that was tough to swallow you know everybody was like counting on me and and I failed miserably but you know you come from that come from that and you learn from those and uh, you know things get start get a little bit easier and easier so uh some other games I guess uh double a p- pitching the playoffs that was uh that was really exciting that's, that's kind of about it. <laughs> and every big league game. You know? yeah. Sean, in the intensity of a playoff game where, you know, one or two plays can mean the difference in the whole season, what peace of mind do you get from the A's defense and especially the infielders right behind you? I have all the confidence in the world. Um, you know, when we, we were all at those guys, they're, you know, best in the, best in the league and, um, you know, I, I know they're going to make every play, and if they don't, uh, you know they're not going to dwell on it or you know be mad at themselves, and they're just going to you know make the next play. And um, you know that's what that's what it's all about. Um, those guys are unbelievable. They're so sound in their defense, and um, you know I, they're just amazing behind me. So I have I have all the confidence in the world. Yeah. Hi, Sean. Um, 50,000 plus people, what mechanisms do you use internally to block it out? Or do you use it and embrace it while you're pitching? Uh, I've never pitched in front of 50,000 people, so uh, I don't know. Um, but, you know, things just kind of, when I get on the mound, it, things just kind of, you know, focus on the catcher and I don't really worry about anything else. And, um, you know, if something does happen, then. I got to figure out a way to, you know, 
fight that uh, the battle up here, and um, I think I'll be ready. But you know, I'm, I, don't, I won't know until I get there. Sean, can you detail uh, and describe the conversation when you found out you were getting the start in this game? You know, who told you? What was said? Where were you? Uh, yeah, Bomo just took me into his office and asked if I wanted the wild card game. I said, hell yeah. Um, you know, it's, that's basically how it went. And I uh, had a little quick conversation after that and uh, sent me on my way. So, uh, yeah, Bomo told me a couple days ago and, and uh, yeah, I just knew I was ready. Uh, it seemed like it was a pretty close decision between you and, and Mike Fires for, for the start. Have you guys kind of talked about that at all? And what do you think just what Mike meant to you guys this year as well? Mike's been, you know, ace of the staff this year. He's, um, you know, been consistent, been, you know, improved steadily over uh, over the course of the season. And, um, you know, it could have gone either way. I know, you know, the boys have, you know, all the confidence in with Mike too. But, um, yeah, just just how, how things turned out. And, and uh, you know, he's, he's been, you know, unbelievable for this team. Sean, este juego se va a sentir bien emocionante para ti. Uh, no habla Espanol. <laughs> Espanol. We knew that. Okay. We knew that. <laughs> I'm trying to work on that, but yeah.